योग कर्मसु कौशल Now let us look at changing sentences as a part of creative writing. For example, a man has walked into a room and a girl has walked into a room and you have sentences like the old man walks into the room, the girl walks into the room. The same verb is used but there are two different people. So try changing the sentence starting about the little girl, bring her into the room again but make the student see age, size, mood and character of this girl. If you make her happy, do it by only changing one verb. Ask them to use happy verbs like the girl bounces into the room, the girl skips into the room, the girl hops into the room. If you want to make the girl angry, again by only changing one verb, it can be the girl stomps into the room, the girl rushes into the room, the girl bangs into the room and the same thing can be done with the old man. The old man can be tired, he can trudge into the room, hobble into the room, limp into the room but if he is excited, the man hurried inside the room, he jumped into the room. So this therefore is a way in which we can transform the language without maybe having very superlative proficiency over the language, especially when we are teaching creative writing. Let us look at this poem on thunder. The slide shows you a poem on thunder. When we read this poem carefully, what do we see? We see that it is full of descriptions. Let us talk about this poem now. How does thunder come in? Roaring. Does that make you think of an animal? Great. What other strong words has the poet used to help us feel the thunder? Rattle, roaring, heavy clanking, stalks rumbling. Now let us brainstorm about different kinds of weather scenarios. Tornado, monsoon, earthquake, flood, tsunami, snow blizzard, ice storm, etc. And this can be the formula for a weather poem or an essay. The title can be, what is the form of nature chosen? Line 1 can tell you how it arrives or how it resembles an animal. Line 2 can tell you what it does, what effect does it have? Line 3 can tell you how does it do it. Line 4 can tell you where does it do it. Line 5 can tell you how does it leave like an animal. In this way the poem can be written and in this way the essay can be framed with lots of similes and lots of descriptions that you can incorporate into your creative writing by asking yourself how, where, when, why and like whom, like what. So finding similarities, differences, associational ideas between the weather and its arrival and the way an animal walks between the weather and its sounds and the sounds that we feel. So after creative writing, we come to writing critical prose and non-fiction which may be subjective, which can be about describing yourself, a self-portrait rather than just the facts, where you can use metaphors and similes, describing your look, your clothes, your feelings, your favorite activities, your favorite place. And one way you can do it is by looking at yourself in the mirror, by touching your hair, by touching your face, by looking at your nose, by observing yourself. How does your hair feel like? 
what is the texture what is the color what are your nails what do they feel like are they sharp are they blunt are they clean are they dirty so for example the self portrait of a 22 year old girl sheetal can be taken as a format and instead of reporting the facts some interesting bits of information and creative non fiction can be written for example when we do an exercise to help the student to get to know yourself better we can compare ourselves today with our older selves say what we were in childhood what we were in teenage or what we were in college the difference between a student in school and college the difference between you and i as newly recruited teachers to now after 20 years of experience so think about what you used to look like what you used to do your hobbies your beliefs your fears and your preferences and you can write it in the form i used to be dash but now i am dash this can become a comparative rubric when you write i used to wear glasses but now i wear contact lenses i used to wear braces but now my teeth are straight and beautiful i used to ride a bike but now i drive a car i used to sleep with eight stuffed animals but now i simply sleep with just my side pillow an example of a creative writing activity can be a traditional dark and stormy night description the students can draw the face of a person in a corner of the page then they can give the person a name then write five adjectives to describe his appearance it can be tall hunchback gaunt lean obese then five more adjectives to describe his character cruel nasty callous or kind sensitive tender caring after they have done this they should write three things the person likes to do and then three things about who the person lives with or is friends with so in this way they build up a character profile for the person they will write about then the teacher can dictate a sentence it was a dark and stormy night and give a few dots stop at this point and ask them to write in the name of the person they have drawn followed by the word was then ask the students what was he doing add sentences add descriptions add chronological and logical sequence of events and keep passing on the class till the story finishes and the group comes to an end the problem with critical writing is that it requires formality objectivity a structured use of the language and this can only come with practice practice of formats practice of paradigms practice of formulaic writing and this will be helpful for both the advanced student and the slow student so today i have tried to give certain concrete suggestions about how a language class can be converted into a class on the acquisition of life skills as we approach an inclusive classroom with humanity sensitivity and flexibility and we address both slow and advanced students and teach them creative and critical writing to hone their skills and make them better learners i must say that this module on creative writing is really very creative you tried different devices yes which will be very useful to our peers and our fellow teachers i hope so sir yeah you have shown us that teaching english language can develop the learner as a whole by enabling and facilitating the acquisition of crucial life skills like communication and self expression yes sir i have tried the language learners can be taught the skills of writing both creative and critical content through structured instructional design and this can be 
adapted for slow and advanced learners i'm very happy that you have talked about both the kind of learners and this skill the way you have talked about this can be adapted for both of them i guess so we need an inclusive classroom very today true. today very the true. world is progressing at such a pace that we have a disability ramp in the shopping malls very true. then why don't we have a more inclusive so I appreciate attitude your efforts in the class thank you sir this kind of language instruction enables the learners to extend their knowledge of vocabulary and structures and to become more proficient in self expression yes sir it does and thank you once again for the appreciation and the very concise summary in conclusion i wish to say that the present day scenario in language classrooms in india requires a little more humane attitude we yes. need to include everybody very true we need to get out of this extremely elitist attitude that because i know and speak english and i write correct english therefore i am superior i will become superior only when i can transmit it very true. through effective innovation to my learners who come to me with this requirement with this expectation that i shall be able to empower them Very by true. giving them linguistic proficiency yes so sir i just have this to state that the path ahead is very rocky it is still a long way for us to go mm -hmm. but if we go step by step as you say if we update develop and if we should i say work upon ourselves as teachers and we keep our attitude in a way that the four skills of english can be taught to the learner the four skills i mean listening speaking reading and writing mm -hmm. can be taught to the learner in such a way that he can meet the demands imposed by the globalization of work culture through an acquisition of english language skills i believe the learner of today can acquire myriad other related skills by understanding them better they may be soft skills emotional intelligence and thus today sir we english teachers english language teaching can become the key to the acquisition of the vital life skills and these are very necessary not simply for professional competency development but also for personal enhancement in a fluid and dynamic world which as you said is rapidly transforming so we right. have to rise up be inclusive be creative innovative and meet the change by being the change very true and it is rightly said that change is the only constant yes change is the law of life very true so we should meet the requirements of the day and we should prove ourselves that we are the fittest and we can survive absolutely in this era it is a requirement that we should adopt the changes we should adopt the new things which are coming to us and we should try to adopt skills for ourselves and then we can try our best to help our students to imbibe those skills yes so with this i would like to thank you for such a creative module on creative writing thank you sir i would like to extend my thanks on behalf of ugc human resource development center of gujarat university on behalf of ministry of human resource developments national resource center for english language teaching of gujarat university and yes of course on behalf of all our creative friends all our creative geniuses yes. the participants who are with us for this whole module thank you very much thank you sir namaskar namaskar